Umulukia Malisi ya Kihayami From Belize City Hereti Mati wa Uwara We are stronger together Competition and show from Dangriga Town. Hanigi Wagumrigo, our parents Hello. are beat. Hello. Group Hi. number three, take it away.
Group number three from Dan Grigo, Hanigi Waguburig. Our parents, Heartbeat. And group number four, healing from St. Bike Village, Lederbubo Familia, Strength of the Family, St. Mary Gehabi Wugiria House. Karina Gu, Karina Gu, Awahaya, Lidere Bogo Familia, Hagaya, Hagayo, Higo Guyao. Marije de Bola, Catele Susereve, Le Mama Bani, Namule. So let's all kindly stand for the singing of Baba and that will be followed by the national anthem in Garifuna.
let us remain standing for a moment of silence for our brothers and sisters who have gone ahead of us. Moment of silence for Andy Palacio, Paul Nabor, Simon Martin Paulino, Rosina Villa Gutierrez, Tanisha Eligio, Rosita Callis, Marsha Suazo Gabriel, Modesta Palacio, and all our other deceased relatives. Moment of silence. Russo Maniguat, Sereme. Thank you very much. Let's be seated. Don Ramos Remy, all day. When you're well, hello. La Wansero, Barasebule. Hello, be what the Ale are Bule. Yes, we are celebrating the 18th annual Battle of the Drums competition and show brought to you by our very own Battle of the Drums Secretariat. And at this time, we'll be inviting our president, Mr. Darius Avila to do the official welcome and uh, as well to give us the rules of the night's competition. That's Let's right. welcome our president with a round of applause. A lot of work goes into this thing. Thank you, Sir Remy. Receive me what? I'm saying good night. Good night one and all. 18 years and going strong. The Battle of the Drums. We welcome all of you. We promise that you will have a very good time here tonight. You will note that we have a little fewer groups than we typically would have. Some of the groups who traditionally come to this competition, unfortunately, witness unprecedented challenges but that is the life story of the Garifuna people we are faced with a lot of challenges from our homeland in Nurume banished to Rotan and we spread across the Central American homeland but these challenges are what make us strong these challenges are what make us resilient and these challenges are what help us to continue to be a people that are formidable so Notwithstanding any challenges, we are here. The Battle of the Drums, proud and strong, 18 years and going 18 times 18 more. Can I say a yeah? <laughs> this competition and show started, like I said, 18 years ago. Around the table, our dinner table, my mom and I were talking, and she was lamenting to me as I was lamenting to her that the culture was deteriorating. And uh, she looked at me and said, you know, something needs to be done. And obviously, at the time, she was already up in age. Clearly, she was telling me that you need to try to do something. So I gathered my friends and uh, colleagues and associates, and we started to brainstorm. And we have what we call now the Battle of the Drums Garifna Cultural Retrieval and Preservation Initiative, which is a response to that deterioration that we saw 18 years ago. We continue to be challenged, but notwithstanding, we are pursuing this initiative and the three main objectives. One, our Garifuna language retrieval objective. Two, our Garifuna dance, singing, and drumming um, objective. And three, our Garifuna community support objective. So what you're seeing here tonight is actually a fundraiser where we are seeking to generate funds that we infuse into those strategic objectives so that Garifuna culture can remain strong and vibrant, not only here in Peine de Punta Gorda, but across Belize. We took an unprecedented step this year, where we collaborated with the National Garifuna Council to develop a Garifuna language in schools program. The outcome is that we rolled out the teaching of the Garifuna language in nine primary schools across southern Belize, from as far south as Barranco, St. Joseph's School, through to Peine Punta Gorda, St. By, Georgetown, Hopkins, and of course, Dan Griga. Galicia has been there, formidable, 
but we brought in Sacred Heart Primary School and as well Holy Ghost Primary School. We are very, very proud of that because one of the weakest links is the Garifuna language. And now we are seeing the teaching of the language every day in the school. So we have integrated the teaching into the school system. 50 years ago, our people were forbidden to speak the Garifuna language in the school system. So we have done a 360 where we are no longer forbidden. In fact, we are integrating the teaching of the language in the schools. For this, we are very proud. And I want to recognize the National Garifuna Council. And the president of the National Garifuna Council is here with us, no other than Ms. Sheena Zuniga. Thank you, Sheena. So we continue to move forward. Like I said, we are a resilient people. We should have disappeared from off the face of the earth because that is what the banishment of the British had intended. But we rose from a few 2,000, a little over 2,000 back in 1797 to now over 500,000 worldwide. Isn't that resilience? Isn't that resilience? So again, the Battle of the Drums is a story about resiliency. And you will have a wonderful here, to, here tonight. After this, we will have what we call the Garifuna Music Festival, Bow La Ruga. And when I was telling my mom about this earlier, my sister and I, Rita, and we were talking about, okay, come Battle of the Drums, the after party is what we call the Garifuna Music Festival. And so we told her, okay, from last year we have called it Bow La Ruga. So she said, you need to add something to it. So as of now, it is Bo Laruga Boguaweyu. Bo Laruga Boguaweyu, which means till the morning until sunrise. So be ready to party, party, party after the show. But first, let's sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. I want to just briefly give you the rules. The Battle of the Jumps competition and show is where we have two wrongs. The first wrong is the face-off wrong. So you'll see two groups on either side of the stage, and they will be basically going against each other. Each group will be required to drum a combination of punta, paranda, and hugga Those are three different types of Garifuna drumming. And they need to drum seamlessly through each of them until they are completed. And then they come back to the second round where they will be playing, where they will be giving us a performance that we call the Chumba performance. It's a Garifuna performance and um, it's accompanied by a mime dance. Again, for those of us who know, we will, of course, we understand, but you will see. And as soon as that is over, we go into the Wanaragua segment, the Jankunu, as some of you might know it, where again, the drummers are being judged against the styles that they use for the Wanaragua. Remember, this is a Garifuna drumming competition and show. You will be seeing a lot of choreography. You will be seeing a, lot of whole, a whole lot of things happening on this stage. But at the end of the day, the judges are looking at the drumming because that is what counts to determine who the winners are. At this time, I would like to recognize our friends from Mexico, our friends from Mexico, and uh, the Cynthia Ellis is uh, accompanied by them. Please give, me, please, our friends from Mexico, please rise. Yes, give them a big round of applause. I will not tell you too much about them. I will let their actions speak. So we will hear from them. Thank you our friends and thank you miss ellis you will see an impressive performance so look out for this performance again we thank you we thank you again i need to mention one evolution into what we are doing in the past we used to live stream for you know the younger generation they are into this right 
the social media, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Instagram, and all of this type of stuff. So we used to live stream free of charge to the world. But remember, what we are seeking to do is to raise funds to infuse into our Garifuna programs. So we have to be able to see how we can monetize all aspects of what we do. And we are just about finalizing a relationship with NextGen, who will have the broadcasting rights to bring this show live into your living room. So for those of you who would want to share, you can go to NextGen TV app, download that app, and you will be able to see the show. So again, if you want to share, ask your friends, go to NextGen TV app, download that app from the Play Store, and you will go to a series of actions so that you can see the show. I want to recognize a very important individual and family at this time. Yesterday, we had a wonderful time at the food and fed. For those of us who have been here year after year, you will notice that we have up our game a little. And so you will see yesterday some wares that were very impressive, some plates and uh, some bowls. And you saw the way how the place was well decorated with tablecloths and table runners and all of these type of stuff. That was done by the um, Apollonia family. And primarily, the primary driver of that was my own classmate by the name, well, I know her as by, by the name of Miss Lilith Apollonio. So again, please give the Apollonio family a big round of applause. We thank them for this. And uh, having been a homegrown family, we are happy for their support, their formidable support, I must add. Again, we want to thank you for being here tonight. We'll have a wonderful time. Enjoy. Sit and enjoy the show. Thank you. Let's hear it for our president. Our president, Wei Dario Savila. And uh, this time, ladies and gentlemen, it's a competition. We have judges. And at uh, this time, we will quickly introduce our judges for tonight's show. And remember, their decision is final. And so, introducing to you, John Lucas, Mr. Marion Norberto, and Mr. Rupert Thomas. Yes, we are about to begin the face-off round, and in the first group to face-off will be Groups one and uh, group four, Walagante, Georgetown, and the Derebugo of the Derebugo Familia. Georgetown and the Sienbite first face off. Let's welcome them with a round of applause. <laughs> Hey, yo. 
for our first two groups, a round of applause. Yes, we can see Garifuna talent. We see Garifuna movement and energy here this evening at the Sports Auditorium. So that was where the first two groups, one from Georgetown and the other from St. Bite. At this time, we are going to have an interlude item. We are bringing in the Independence High School. They are the winners of this year's high school's Battle of the Drums. They are going to do a performance or their show for us. Let's welcome Independence High School with a round of applause. And we are asking our group leaders, the group leaders participating in tonight's Battle of the Drums to meet with Mr. Petio and Mr. Avila, the leaders of, it will be the leaders from the four groups, the Lee City, Dan Grigger, St. Bite and Georgetown. Kindly meet with Mr. Avila and Mr. Petio. And uh, independence, you take it away.
Yes, thank you, thank you. Independence High School, current reigning champions of the high school's Battle of the Drums. Let's get one more time for Independence High School. Oh, we boy, we should wish you home. It's called on the high yard again, Independence game. And we move on in tonight's show. We are going to have the face-off round between groups number two and three. Mama Natuga, Henga Magwali na. Mama Natuga, Henga Magwali na. Oh, 
Lanai menogahi. Okay, we move on in this evening's program. James, do we take on the Mexicans now? Okay, uh, we continue. We'll now have our friends from Mexico. Our Mexicans will now perform for us their presentation. And while they are setting up, we are very happy to announce our platinum and diamond sponsors include Belize Tourism Board, National Bank of Belize, Kapala Rum, Love FM TV, Will Mejia and PG TV, Belican, James Busline, Oceana, Bea Sweets, Andrea Matura, Audrey Matura, <laughs> Niche, Atlantic Insurance, Rajus Rare at the Store. Cornelia, Cornelio and Julia Apollonio and family. Other sponsors are family of the late Rosita Callis, family of Madeline and Tony Avila, Kimon Painting, Gianabi, Lloyd Enriquez, in memory of Nigel Zuniga, family of the late Maura Lopez. Over now to our friends from Mexico. <laughs> uno, dos, tres. Probando, uno, dos, tres. Sí, dos. Sí, sí. Bueno, un, dos, tres, sí, sí. Bueno. Sí. ¿Sí? Dos.
celebration of the Center for the Godsman Ellis or Garifuna Culture. Our visitors tonight, um, please welcome Gabo. Gabo, could you say a few words about the group? And, and uh, Azalea comes all the way from Yurume. Okay? So she will translate while our brother will give us a little background on how we came to be here tonight, how they traveled all the way from Chetomal, Mexico to be with us. 
Sí, bueno, eh, muy buenas noches. Somos el coro de Domus Artis de Chetumal y estamos muy honrados en estar esta noche aquí con nosotros. A pleasant good night to everyone. We are the Domus Artis Choir from Chetumal and it's an honor and a pleasure to be here with all of you tonight. Queremos que sepan que su música y su cultura es maravillosa. We want you to know that your music and your culture, it's just wonderful, it's marvelous. Para nosotros es un privilegio el poderlos ver, el poderlos escuchar. Nuestro corazón rebosa de felicidad. For us, it's an honor, it's a pleasure to be able to see the dance, hear the music, to see you and hear you. Our hearts are full. Y estamos muy agradecidos con los organizadores, con la señora Cynthia Ellis, con Rodney Ávila, para quien pido un fuerte aplauso. Um, we are very thankful for Miss Cynthia, for Rodney, for having us here tonight. Tenemos un año trabajando en un proyecto de intercambio cultural entre México y Belice. It's been a year since we've been working on a cultural exchange between uh, Mexico and Belize. Y estoy seguro que vamos a tener muchas oportunidades más de hacer música juntos. And I'm very certain that we're going to have much more opportunities to work together and make music together. Y una vez más comprobamos que la música no tiene fronteras. And once again, here we prove that the music, we don't have barriers. They aren't boundaries. Muchas gracias a todos. Buenas noches. Thank you very much and have a good night. Let's hear it for our Mexican friends. Un aplauso. Round of applause for our Mexicans. And uh, what happened just now, my friends, it tells us that the Garifuna language is much alive. Yes, this gives us hope. Nihale ishu be dere bu gumu. Dale wehi. Haremu haniamu waremu. Hayanu haniamu waremu. Wa wadume reha. Mama wagunda areble. How you doing? How mehi go gain? At this time, we are going to present two Garifna Awards. We started last night at the Battle of the Drums, Food and Fet. And tonight, we have two more Garifuna outstanding Garinago who have performed well during the course of the year, have some great achievement, and we are going to present them with their awards at this time. Thank you very much, Master of Ceremonies. Good night, good night. We would like to present to Father Kalistros Cayetano. Father Kalistros Cayetano, was the second child of Francis and Florencia Ni Lucas Cayetano, born on 21st November 1942 in the beautiful village of San Antonio Rio Hondo in the Orange Walk District. Father Cayetano admired, was admired and also attended St. John's College when he became a teacher. He also taught in the village of Dolores and Otosha. On 15 August 1973, Bishop Robert Hodup ordained him as a priest for the Diocese of Belize. So therefore, on August 15, 2023, is 50 years since he was ordained, his golden jubilee, thanks to God. When he graduated from SJC in 1961, he was posted in Cricket Circle as the first teaching appointment as an assistant teacher to the late John Zuniga. He had already spent one and a half years helping in the village of Barranco. He spent, he spent six months in Cricket Circle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming Father Kalistros Caetano. Thank you, Father Carl. 50 years priesthood. That is such an achievement. And we are proud to have Father Callistus Cayetano here with us. The only Garifuna priest, we have a Garifuna bishop, but right now he is, he has served 50 years in the priesthood. 
Father Kalistos Cayetano. Please give him another big round of applause. Garahal Bayero Fadiri. Gunda to Abao. Number award. Who would make it? Who would make it? We want, please, one round, another round of applause for the call. And now we have another another award from an outstanding individual. Okay, I would like to welcome Miss Barbara Antonio. Barbara, please come forward. Miss Barbara t started teaching at the age of 13 years old after she finished primary school. She started with youths at her house and then moved to join the Punta Gorda Youth Development where she became the youth coordinator. She was also traveling from district to district. Thereafter, she started teaching dance and music at Toledo Community College while attending TCC and in the village. After graduating from TCC, she began teaching at primary school. Today, Barbara is a teacher. She's an organizer and, of course, a cultural presenter. Her accomplishments are many, but the two that she's most proud of are one word of life bible school being a child of god and a changing negative life of our youths into a positive one through god and culture ladies and gentlemen please help me in giving barbara antonio elijo this award and i have to add to something here barbara is very very special for the battle of the drums she resides in Belize City, and she has been a force to bring the high schools from Belize City to join the high school's Battle of the Drums. And she has, in addition to others, been able to bring on um, Wesley College to the high school Battle of the Drums. She has supported over the years. She has also supported Maud Williams High School out of Belize City. And most recently this year, she was responsible to assist us in bringing on C.A.D. Vernon High School to the high school's Battle of the Drums. That is quite an accomplishment for, because for those of us who understand, Belize City can be a little challenging for our youths growing up, our Caribbean youths growing up. But notwithstanding, we are also proud to say that we also have non Garifuna youths who have been very attracted to the high school battle of the drums, for which we are very, very proud. So, Barbara, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Seremi. Thank you very much, Honorable Seremi. And we are proud of our recipients. Let's give them another round of applause. They have been contributing. They have been doing their part to keep the Garifuna culture alive. We're going to move on in this evening. Show la de gabo sengwa fedo halari gile. La busha do awabo yu yu handi gaya. Pero city kate ya gwe onto. Things are getting real warm. And the Belize City Group will now do their face off. They were waiting for one of their members, but they have decided that they, they are going on to do the face off round. And that is between, that would have been between the groups two and three. We had seen the Dangriga group do their uh, face off round with their three different Garifuna music. Paranda Punta and Hagunga, and now Heri Timatiwa Uwara, we are stronger together from Belize City doing their face off round. Take it away.
Heriti Matthew Aor from Belize City doing their face off. And uh, the program will keep flowing, we keep going. Wabarong Wong, Wabarong Wong. And uh, this, Mike, this. And uh, we are recognizing our sponsors again. And that would be Zeta Turton Family. Tide. Harada Inn and Suites. Marta Serrano. Elma Brown. Teresa Tando Norales. Dean Pollard. Herman Flores. Roy Caldad Rivas. Richard Cartrell. Monkey River. Eco Tours. Print Belize Limited. Alice Casimiro. Martin Pitio Memorial Fund. Vilma Lambe. Mary Sabas. Rosalie Lambe Avila. Olive Woodai. Simon Kwan, Company Limited. Social Security Board. Central Bank of Belize. The Home and Limousine. Anthony Westby. Jenkins Funeral Service. Shell Shaibel. Paul's Guest House. Toledo Farm Supply. Paul Furniture. Brother Sabet. Mid Tongue Flavors. Joyful Ink. And at this time, we're going to have the round number two with. And in this round, we're going to have the Chumba dance first, to be followed by the Wanaragua dance. For the Chumba, we will dance. We'll have Georgetown doing its Chumba, and the dancer will be from Georgetown. And for the Wanaragua, the, dan the Wanaragua dancer, the Jankulu dancer, comes from St. Bite. And this is very important for our judges to note because we're also judging the best Wanaragua dancer. So, and uh, we have a different a dancer from a different group dancing because we want, again, to determine the skill of our drummers in playing for a dancer who is not a member of their team. Take it away, George Down. Who live 
That was the round number two in which we had Georgetown doing their chumba and the, playing the drums and uh, St. Mike doing the Wanaragua dance. At this time, we take on now group number two from Belize City, Heriti Matiwa doing their chumba dance and uh, the, the Wanaragua, the, Jankulu dancer comes from Dangriga. I don't. 
Yes, and that was the Belize City group doing the chumba and the Wanaragua dancer from Dan Griga. Now we have group number, the group from Belize City, group number three doing their chumba dance. And the Wanaragua dancer all comes from Georgetown. Dan Griga to do the chumba dance and the Wanaragua from Georgetown. And we want to remind uh, our audience that uh, first place winner will earn $1,800 uh, and a pair, a pair of Garifuna drums, uh, courtesy of the family of Rosita Collis. Second place winner, $1,200, uh, courtesy of Martin Petillo Memorial Fund. Third place winner, $800, courtesy of Raju's Variety Store. Consolation prize of $300, courtesy of uh, Olive Wodai. Maura Lopez Award for the best group, Cayusa, courtesy of the family of Maura Lopez. Olivia Palacio Avila Award for the best uniform group, courtesy of the Battle of the Job Secretariat, $500. Likewise, we will have prizes for the most exciting Cicero performance of $100, best chumba performance of $150, best Wanaragua dancer for $100, a prize for the oldest person, $75, courtesy of Lloyd Enriquez, senior, prize for the youngest child in Garifuna attire, courtesy of Lloyd Enriquez for $25, and a prize for the youth in Garifna Atayur for $50 courtesy of Lloyd Enriquez Sr. Please give these sponsors a big round of applause. Uh -huh. I don't say the Dangriga and I came out. Let's go Dangriga with your Tumba dance. The best Wanaragua will also receive a plaque courtesy of La Barangu Luba Garifna Duo, owner Dr. Rita Enriquez. Congratulations and thank you, Dr. Rita. Yeah. yeah.
And now we have the group from Saint Bite to do their chumba. And uh, the Guanaragua dancer is from Belize City. Take it away, Saint Bite. And we can't forget our sponsors, Platinum and Diamond Sponsor, Belize Tourism Board. Please, we will not allow the horns. Please, we will not allow the horns. Belize Tourism Board, National Bank of Belize, Kopali Rum, Love FM and TV, Wilma here and PGTV, Bellikin, James Bus Line, Oceana, Baya Suites, Margiatura, Niche, Atlantic Insurance, Reduce Variety Store, Cornelio and Julia Apollonio family, our platinum and diamond sponsors. Take it away. Sabina Guaya de la Mema, Wala Gayo, Sabina Guaya de la Mema, Wala Gayo, Sabina Guaya I'll be there, you hear 
Thank you, Sereme, Sereme. And uh, that brings us to the end of our show. We will be awaiting the judge's decision very shortly. We know they had a very difficult time. I'm reminding you that our judges were Mr. John Lucas, Mr. Marion Norberto, Mr. Rupert Thomas. Four groups, one from Belize City, one from Dan Griga, one from St. Mike. One from Georgetown, from Belize City, we had Heriti Matiwa We are stronger together. From Dangriga Town, we had Hanigi Wagumurigo, our parents' heartbeat. From St. Bike, the Derebogo Familia, the strength of the family. And from Georgetown, we had Walagante, Georgetown. Let's give all four groups a big, big round of applause. They have entertained us well. They are the ones. They are our hope to keep our Garifuna culture alive. To keep the spirit of Garifuna Duo glowing here in Belize and in the world. And so tonight we are asking you as the audience, give yourselves a big round of applause. Mama Wagunda Hachila Mama Yes, Mr. Luke, and we want to recognize our sponsors again. Family of the late Rosita Collis, family of Madeline and Tony Avila, Kimon Penigan Niabi, Lloyd Enriquez um, Sr. in memory of Nigel Zuniga, family of the late Maura Lopez, Zeta Turton family, Tide, Arada Inn and Suites, Marta Serona, um, Serrano, Elma Brown, Teresa Tando Norales, Dean Pollard, Herman Flores, Roy Cadan Rivas, Richard Cacho, Monkey River Ecotours, Print Belize Limited, Alice Casimiro, Martin Petillo Memorial Fund, Vilma Lambe, Marie Sabas, Rosalie Lambe Avila, Olive Wodai, Simon Kwan Company Limited, Social Security Board, Central Bank of Belize, D Home and Limousine, Anthony Westby, Jenkins Funeral Service, Shell Shibel, Pals Guest House, Toledo Farm Supply, Sapal Furniture, Brother Sabet, Mid Tongue Flavors, Joyful In, M's Healing Mass. And we want to remind you that immediately after the issuing of the prizes that we will have the Bolaruga Bogwaweyu after party. So make it a day to be right here. We have a suite of we have a lineup of artists for you. Sweet Pain Band in the house, Reckless Flores, Nuro Ellis. Lloyd Agustin, Hugh B, Super G, and the Martinez brothers, uh, among others. So we will have a wonderful, wonderful time. 
Minara, Minara President, be the way We're rocking. <laughs> That first place winner of $1,800 go and um, comes from the family of Rosita Collis. We'll be asking Mrs. Elma Brown, uh, Rosita Collis's niece, to give this award. So please um, uh, come up front as soon as we call you. Get ready. Martin Petio Memorial Fund is sponsoring the second place winner for $1,200. That will be given by the sons of Martin Petillo, of the late Martin Petillo, Rise Avila and uh, Vinnie Martinez. Third place winner comes from Raju's Variety Store. That will be given by uh, Mr. Raju himself. And uh, third um, consolation prize of 300. A member of Maura Lopez's family, Miss Olive Woodai, please come on, on stage. Mr. Raju, please come on, on stage. Martin Petillo, um, sorry, uh, Rise Avila and Vinny Martinez, please come on stage. Mrs. Elma Brown, please come on stage. Dr. Rita Enriquez, please come on stage. These are sponsors of the various prizes and we are very proud of them uh, that they are supporting us in keeping our Garifuna culture alive. So please. Okay, we are about to announce some prizes and make the awards. We begin with the most exciting Sisera performance. And while we are doing that, um, Brother Luke, we'd like to ask the police to close into the stage because we would not want anyone to run on the stage to cheer on their teams. Okay, so we're asking the police, please help us with crowd control no one should run onto the stage, except who is collecting the prize. Go ahead, Mr. Luke. So $100, most exciting Cicero performance goes to Trian Mejia. Trizane Mejia. <laughs> Trizane Mejia, most exciting Cicero performance. Where is um, Mejia? Uh, he's from Heritamatua Uwara, Belize City Group. Shrizin Mejia. And we are going to the best Wanaragua dancer. Best Wanaragua dancer. And we'll ask. Uh, from sorry. Our best Manaragua dancer from Walagante, Georgetown. And we ask Dr. Rita to give that award. 
best one or dancer. And can we get the plot? Can we get the plot, please? Congratulations. $150 to the best chumba performance, Hereti Matiwa Uara. Best chumba performance. Best chumba performance goes to Hereti Matiwa Uara from Belize City. Now go to the best Cayusa Maura Lopez Award for the best Cayusa. And uh, we have a tie for the Maura Lopez Award for the best Cayusa. And the tie goes to Anigi Wagubrigo and uh, Ledera Bugo Familia. Anigi, Wani Anigi Wagubrigo from Dangriga. And Lidera Bugo Familia from St. Bai, given by Maura Lopez family. the Maura Lopez Award given by the family of Maura Lopez for the best Gayusa. <laughs> and now Mr. Luke, we are going to the best uniform group. The best uniform group, $500, presented on behalf of the co-founder of the Battle of the Drums, Olivia Palacio Avila. And again, we have a tie for this category. And uh, the prize goes to Hanigi Wagubrigo from Dangriga and Walagante Georgetown.
Okay, we move on in uh, award share distribution of prizes. Consolation prize goes to Herit Tematiwa Uara, three hundred dollars from Belize City. Herit Tematiwa Uara, consolation prize. Congratulations, Herit Tematiwa Uara. And this prize was given by Miss Olive Wadai. Thank you very much, Miss Olive. And now we go to third place winner, offered by Mr. Raju. Mr. Raju from Raju's Variety Store. I have to tell you that Mr. Raju, although he is not originally from PG, he has made PG his home. And from the onset, he has supported the Battle of the Drums 100%. Yes, Please I... give him a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Raju. Thank you, Raj. And when I think about Mr. Raju, I also think about another gentleman who is a born and bred painter, Mr. Will Mejia, who have always supported the Battle of the Drums from day one. Please give Will a big round of applause. And of course, along with his wife, Ellen. So... Mr. Luke, third place winner goes to Walagate Georgetown. Third place winner, Walagate Georgetown. Walagate Georgetown has come from afar. They started this competition during COVID when we used to have the virtual and uh, many of them used to be a part of the high school's battle of the drums and uh, what we are seeing in most of these groups they come from that system the high school's battle of the drums and now they are young adults they come to the senior battle of the drums and that was part and parcel of what we wanted to see accomplished that we created the high school's Battle of the Drums because that is a feeding ground to the senior Battle of the Drums. And now it is playing out. Please give them a big round of applause. $800, Walagate Georgetown. And... Uh, Mr. Luke, so we are down to second and first. Second prize is um, $1,200 offered by Martin Petillo Memorial Fund. And uh, Martin Petillo, also known as Ponsin, right? Uh, he is original from Paine Punta Gorda. Of course, he passed a few years ago. And he has his two sons, well, two of his sons have come together to give this prize of $1,200 to the second place winner. And that Up goes to, to St. Mike Village, the Derebogo Familia. St. Mike, the Derebogo Familia, second place winner of the Battle of the Drums 2023. Please come up, St. Mike, for your prize.
Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Like we like to say at the Battle of the Drums, it is highly competitive. And uh, again, a lot of these guys came out of the high school system. Somebody has to win, but at the end of it all, it is more about showcasing our Caribbean culture than about winning. We need to keep this culture alive. We're proud of all the various groups. And now, Mr. Luke, we're going to first place winner. First place winner, $1,800. $1,800, please bring up the trophy and the Garifuna drums. $1,800 is presented on behalf of the family of Rosita Carlis, the late Rosita Carlis, by her niece, Mrs. Elma Brown. $1,800 plus a pair of Garifuna drums and a trophy. And first place winner goes to none other than Hagu Hanigi Wagubrigo, our parents, heartbeat from Dan Greek. Hanigi Wagubrigo. the presentation.